I am sorry. I am sorry. I am very ashamed of myself. Okay. This is my penance video. Um, I did a bad thing. I did a thing that I uh, should not do. And my team has correctly um, chastised me. And uh, this is my penance for doing the thing. There is a common wisdom in bold action that says that you shouldn't spend too much points on a unit. Um, there is a, a point efficiency calculation when you're building lists, right? Um, and, and this comes into bold action from, I think, from 40k, um, because bold action was made by GW people, and most of us have played 40k or Warhammer uh, before. So we know about min-maxing. We know that you need to get the maximum amount of efficiency out of the fewest possible points, right? That is the calculation that we're doing all the time. Um, so one of the things that you shouldn't do when, you, when you're building lists is you shouldn't place all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak. You shouldn't um, have everything in just one unit. Or um, if you're using transports, you shouldn't put all your transported units into one single transport. I did it. Uh, it hasn't worked out for me yet. I'm still working on it, but I um, I was at the Scottish Nationals, and when I got up to the prize table, there was this uh, LVT, this thing here, huge, huge uh, thing, uh, which I am very ahistorically painting up in a desert camo uh, Eighth Army thing. Maybe I can claim that it's for the invasion of Sicily. I don't know, but um, I mean. I'm, I'm not very historical about this. Um, but I picked that up and I painted it and I intend to use it at some point. And I am trying to convince my team uh, that it's a, it, it could be an idea to use that because it can transport 30 guys. 30 guys in one transport. That's everything that I need. That's all my infantry, basically, in most of my lists. In one transport, go. I can... Do away with all of the trucks and and all of the dice that I usually lose on those trucks. I got one thing, and it's even armored. I it was such a good idea, but it's a bad idea. I know this is this is not how you build lists. This is, I mean, one one anti tank gun, one uh, even an auto gun um, might just puff it and then it goes away and and it costs like a uh, hundred and sixty points or something if you equip it with all that you can it's it's madness it is insane and that is mostly because in bold action um you need the right amount of dice in your list uh, it doesn't really work if you're going for too many dice um then the units becomes too weak and you lose dice in kill point games. If you have too few dice, your units can be very, very tough, but they're also very expensive and they'll not kill their points worth. So, and, and you will lose the dice game, so the opponent will get to do what they want before you actually get to do what you want with your very expensive King Tiger. Um, and that's why you shouldn't buy King Tigers and LVTs. Too expensive for the points, not worth it point-wise. I'm still going to try it. When I played 40k, um, I was quite often running Death Star units. Like units where more than half of your army points were put into one unit. Um, and and that unit, you, you would use that in a specific way in 40k. You would use it to distract the opponent because that was, you throw it at his army. And yes, it might die eventually, but m for most of the game, it would occupy his army. He wouldn't be able to do anything but run away from it or shoot at it. Um, in bold action, you can't really do that in the same way. 
um, because there's not the synergy. You can't build invulnerable units, right? Um, you don't have armor as you do in with the power armor of space marines and all of that. Um, and there's no magic and there's no special rules that sort of synergize into making some units even better. But, but I still want to try this one. I'm sorry, I'm going to do it anyway. Just for the fun of it. I tried it in one game so far. It's been in one game. And you know what happened? It died turn one. <laughs> and the people inside it were forced to, to emergency disembark and they lost guys and it was horrible. It didn't even get to, I didn't even get to use it, not once. It just, one shot, Instant killed. But sometimes you do stupid things. You try out stupid things and you try to figure out does this even work? Can I can I make this work? Can I can I do something with this? So I would suggest sometimes, maybe not for a tournament that where you know you're going to be very competitive, but sometimes for a, a fun game. Bring out your tiger, bring out your king tiger, bring out your LVT, bring out the, like, the stuff. I have other stuff that I rarely use because it's really bad. But you know what? I picked up this Daimler Dingo. This is an old Dinky Toys Dingo. And it's actually the right... Can I please have some light? It's actually the right size for bold action. So I, I sort of painted it up and converted it a bit. It's my Daimler Dingo. I love this little guy. It has wheels that can turn and everything. It It's hopeless in the game. It's really, really hopeless. It's an 8 plus open topped armored car. It has Reki, yes, but the only, the only weapon it has is an LMG. A front mounted LMG. It doesn't work. It, it has no consequence in the game. But some games when I'm making fun lists, I'll try it out. And I'm going to do that with my LVT as well. Just figuring out different aspects of the game. It will make you better as a player. And that was my sort of rant for the day. And also my apology to the Danish WTC team. I am sorry. I'm still going to do it, but I'm sorry about it. Cheers.